Hello guys, welcome back to Dami Dimension channel. My name is Dami, in case you're new here, you're welcome to my channel. On this channel, I post sewing tutorials weekly, so if you're not subscribed already, make sure to use the red button below to subscribe and put on your notification bell so that you don't miss any tutorial whenever I upload video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make two different types of flare the 720 degree flare and the 1440 this video is going to be very informative and detailed as possible so make sure you watch from the beginning to the end so let's jump right into the video so i'm starting with the 720 degree flare and 720 degree flare is a flare made with two circles so instead of a full circle flare this is going to be two circles so we are going to be having one in the front and one at the back so the seam allowance is going to be at the two sides and the zipper allowance is going to be at the center back as well so we are cutting two circles for this one so that being said in order to get the calculation we are going to be needing a waist radius in my case my waist radius is 26 inches so 26 inches then I am going to be adding one inch joining allowance and this is to join the two circles together half half so we need half to join this side and half to join this side then i'm also going to need a uh, zipper allowance of two inches so that's my waist circumference plus one inch joining allowance to join the two circles and two inch zipper allowance that i'm going to be needing at the back for the zipper so then we are going to be dividing all of this by two. The reason why we are dividing by two is because we are cutting two circles, like I said. Okay, so this is going to give me 29 divided by two. My 29 divided by two is going to, is going to give me 14.5. Okay, so remember that uh, we have a standard for calculating the radius of a circle, which is 6.28 so we are going to be dividing this by 6.28 sorry so we are going to be dividing this by 6.28 so we have 14.5 divided by 6.28 so this is going to now give me 2.3 okay so it's actually 2.308 whatever but i made it 2.3 you can round, round it up to uh, 2.4 or you know but I'm just going to be leaving it at 2.3 at this point all right so now this is the radius of my circle so I'm going to be using this as a radius and I'm going to be cutting out two circles for the 720 degree flame so now I'm going to be setting this aside and I'm going to be determining how much fabric or if you're cutting directly on your fabric I'm going to be demonstrating on a pattern first so I'm going to be uh, calculating how much paper I need in order to cut my circle so in order to do that I'm going to be adding this to the length of my peplum and I'm going to be adding the seam allowance to it as well so that's going to be 2.3 plus the length of my peplum I want to make it 7 inches okay then I'm going to be adding 1 inch joining allowance also so sum all these together so this is going to give me 10.3 so this is going to give me 10.3 but i'm just going to make it 11 i'm just going to round it up to 11 it's not going to affect my design anyways just to calculate how much of fabric i need so i'm just going to make it 11 then i will multiply it by 2 because well, you know we are going to be folding our fabric so that's why we need to multiply it by 2 so this is going to give me 22 the 22 inches that we got here is just for us to be able to know how how many fabric or how many pattern paper you need depending on what you're working on so i'm going to be cutting 22 by 22 inches out so now i have my 22 by 22 inches uh, pattern paper it could be your fabric so I'm just going to fold it into four like this so I fold it 
and I fold again like this. So this part where we have to fold, let me just show you again. You see this corner right here. That is where we are going to be starting to take our measurement from. So I'm just bringing back my calculation so you see what I'm doing. So I'm starting by taking my radius which is 2.3. So I'll measure 2.3 from this corner and I'll take it round. After taking my uh, 2.3 radius round, then I'm going to take my length. The length of my peplum is 7 inches. So from this point now, I'm taking my 7 inches round again as well. Okay, but remember that we need half inch here to join the peplum and the lining together. So I'm going to be adding half inch there. And this is uh, where that this one inch came from. So we are having one inch here and also one inch here to join. To the upper part as well so i'm just taking 7.5 round okay now i'm going to cut it out and here i'm going to be adding half inch so i'm just adding half inch to join the upper parts together so then I'm going to I'm going to be cutting on this line. And here is one of the circle. I'm going to be splitting it open here so that we can put in the second one. And I'm going to go ahead and cut the second one the exact same way. You can go ahead and use your measurement to measure it out and cut just like we did for this one. Or you can just place this on your pattern and on your fabric or pattern paper and cut it out as well. So now I'm done cutting out the second flare. So these are the two flares after cutting them out. Alright, and I also split the second one open. So what I'm going to do now is to place them on top of each other like this, and I am going to be joining here by half inch so that we can have a one long flare that is going to go around your waist. So I'm just going to join it together now and I'm going to be trying it out on my mannequin to show you how it's going to look like. So guys, this is what the 720 degree peplum looks like. As you can see, I use my pattern paper at this point, so the fold and, and the waves are, you know, still not like fabric would look, but you can get the idea. You see how it is. It's exact. The measurement is just perfect. It's exact. I have my seam allowance, I mean, my um, zipper allowance is the only thing that is overlapping at the back. So everything is just perfect. There is no pleating or anything like that. It goes around the waist of the mannequin because we have the same waist measurement. All right? And by the way, if you haven't seen my video on how I made this beautiful sleeve rose right there, you can check it in the description box or check my channel. So now let's move to the 1440 degree peplum. So for the 1440 degree, the calculation is almost the same thing the only difference is that we are going to be ha dividing this one by four because we'll be cutting four circles and we are going to be having more joining another one so let's jump right into it so again i'm using my waist radius which is 26 inches then in this case i'm going to be adding three inches joining allowance okay and here is why so here is why we are having three inches joining allowance let's say this is one circle another circle another one and another one you know after cutting them so you are going to join this edge and this edge together half inch here half inch here making one inch half inch here half inch making one inch half here and half here making one inch you know to join them together 
right so one plus one plus one we are having three inches so that is why we are having these three inches right here okay i hope that is clear enough so then we are also having our two inches zipper allowance i'm sorry i squeezed this already but let me just show you again so you know by the time this is now a single strip we are going to be have needing one inch here for the zipper allowance on this side and on this side we need one inch as well so that is why we are having these two inches one plus one okay the same thing for this one all right so we are going to be dividing all of this by four in this case like i said we are cutting four circles that's why we have to divide our calculations by four so this is going to give me 31 and i'm dividing my 31 by four right so my 31 divided by 4 is going to give me 7.75, okay? And I'm going to be dividing this 7.75 by 6.28. And this is going to give me 1.24. So it gives me 1.24. I can just say it's 1.3. It's better to have excess than to have less so i'm making it approximately 1.3 inches and this is going to be the radius for my 1440 degree peplum and i'm going to be using this radius to cut out four circles four 360 degree circles okay and again just like we did for this one i'm going to be adding 1.3 plus 7 inches for the length plus 1 inches joining allowance is going to give me 9.3 but I'm just going to make it 10 times 2 is going to give me 20 inches so I'm going to be cutting out 20 by 20 inches for one circle that's how much fabric how much fabric or how much paper that I need to cut out one of the circles so now that I have my paper cut out, just like I did for the 720 degree, I'm going to be folding this into two and fold it into four this way. Okay, then I will start taking my measurement from this edge. Remember this is my radius 1.3, so I will start from here and take my 1.3 round. And then I will take my length of 7 inches plus half inch joining allowance at the down. So I will take my 7 and half inches round. So remember to take half inch up here for the joining allowance. So you don't cut directly on this line. You cut on this line. So then I am going to cut it out so this is one of the circles for the 1440 degree peplum I'm going to cut it open in order to make your work faster you can place the four pieces of your fabric all on top of each other fold it into four and cut them out so that you're cutting the four circle at once so now I have three pieces of my 20 by 20 inches on top of each other. Then I'm going to fold them into four. I am trying to cut out the remaining three circles after cutting out the first one. I'm just repeating the same thing like we did for the first circle. So after folding it into four, then I'll take my measurement on this point. So remember my radius was 1.3 and I'm going to be taking that round then I'll take my length so remember the half inch joining allow allowance at this point and I'll be cutting it out so now I have all my four circles 
So these are the four circles and I'm going to go ahead and join them together by half inch to make them a single long strip. So I'll place it on top of each other like this and join here by half inch. I'll open it up, open it up. Then I'll place the next one and because I am making use of a pattern paper, I'm going to be pinning them together. So this is what I have after joining two together. So I'm opening it up, then I'm going to place the next one here. And I'm also going to pin it. Okay, then again I'll open it up and I'll place the last one here. So once I'm done, this is what I came up with. A straight long piece of peplum that is very wavy, you know, it's really wavy and full and this now is going to be equal to my waist second pen. I'll be trying it on my mannequin, then I'm going to be trying the 720 degree peplum with the fabric. So you guys should stay tuned and I'm going to be showing you how it looks like. So guys, here is the 1440 degree peplum that was made with four 360 degree circle. So this is what it looks like. It is really full, very wavy. And yeah, so I also don't have this one pleated. It may look like it's pleated, but trust me, it, it is not pleated. It, some part of it got torn, so I had to overlap those parts. So that could be why it's appearing like it's pleated. It's not pleated, it's exactly equal to my waist circumference. The only leftover that I have is my zipper allowance. So when you're rounding up your calculations, make sure not to add too much and you know too little as well. So you won't have to be pleating the excess fabric because if you're pleating, you're going to be uh, giving your work a different look entirely, which could be okay as well. So yeah. You can try us out and share it with me on our Facebook page and on Instagram at Dami Dimension as well, just as we have on this channel. Okay? But wait, do you know that this is standing because it's just a paper? Assuming you cut out your fabric, you know, just the fabric without anything added to it. If you cut it out four circles and you join it together and you put it on the mannequin just like I've done, it's not going to stand like this. I'm sure you know that. But if you check out all those pictures of the, you know, celebrity dresses and all of that on Instagram, you see that they have their peplum standing and all that. I'm going to be showing you a secret on how that is done in my next video. And I'm going to be providing the link of that video right now. Yeah, this is the link. It's by the top right corner. Yeah, that's it. So just click that link. And I'm going to be showing you the secret of making your peplum stand exactly the way you want it, like the celebrity dresses you normally see out there. So just click that link right now and meet me in that video and let's enjoy sewing together. Bye.